How's it going guys? Uh, my name is Dom and in this video I would like to um, discuss using the URL search params object with the fetch API inside JavaScript. Um, so previously I spoke just about the um, search params um, object but in this video I want to talk about actually um, how it integrates with the fetch API um, to provide some really easy shortcuts and um, the methods of making a request. Okay, so um, inside the source code for this um, for this document, it looks like this. So I've got an empty script tag right there. Um, so in this video, we're actually going to be making a um, uh, two fetch requests. Um, one being a get request and one being a um, post request. And we're going to use the URL search params object to actually construct. Um, the data and then pass it in really easily. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is that we've actually got a search PHP file um, which simply for now, let's just make it um, var dump the get global variable. So basically when we um, make a um, request to this search PHP file, it's going to dump out all the get um, variables passed in through the query stream. Okay, so we have that right there ready to go. Um, inside the HTML, we can begin by actually creating a new instance of the URL search params object. Okay, so let's define a new constant down here and we're going to call this one params equal to a new URL search params object. Okay, so um, this object is basically just going to uh, provide an interface to deal with query strings. So um, we can actually pass in some data as an object to the constructor. So um, let's just say for example that we're making a request um, to this search.php um, which basically just returns a list of search results. So um, we're going to pass a query as a um, URL um, variable. Um, we're going to search for um, any articles containing dinner, for example. And let's just say as well that the language, we want the language to be returned in English, so Ian. Okay, so those are just some sample um, query string um, data. Okay, so um, we have this URL search params object and it actually fits really nicely um, with the fetch API. Um, not necessarily for the get request, um, unless you actually use the URL object, but it comes in handy quite a bit with a post request. But first, let's see the actual fetch request. Uh, sorry, um, get request. Okay, so um, let's make a new fetch call down here. Okay, and um, we're going to pass in um, a URL. So I'm going to put URL inside there just like that for now. Okay, and um, we're going to actually just output the response to the console. Okay, so we're going to say fetch this URL. Okay, and then um, with the response, we're going to uh, get the text. So we're going to say response um, dot text, which gives us a promise. And then um, with that promise, we're going to say then and then console dot log. And that right there is going to print out the um, response text um, to the console. Okay, so now for this URL um, uh, variable or constant, we can define it up here. So let's define a new constant and we'll call this one URL equal to a JavaScript template string. We're going to use uh, search.php that matches with obviously that one right there. And then we're going to put a um, question mark to then append the query string. So um, the query string is going to be params and then the two string method. So um, that method right there is going to convert this um, this this object into an actual usable query string. So if I was to now just quickly console.log the URL, okay, I can save this and refresh the browser and we get that right there. So you can see our constructed string followed by um, the actual response from the server. So um, this is some PHP output which just outputs the um, all the key value pairs 
passed in by the query string. So um, we can see right there, using the URL search params um, object, we can easily construct a query string and then um, give it to the fetch um, API. So um, this right here isn't really um, anything too special because um, we're simply just um, uh, creating a string. So it's not so much with the API fetch, it's more just um, making a string. So where the integration really comes into play is when you're using a fetch post request. Okay, so um, I'm actually just going to replace all this stuff right here. Um, get rid of that. And inside here, I'm gonna say this. Uh, search.php um, directly inside the actual fetch um, function right there. Okay, and we're gonna pass a second argument this being the fetch option. So inside here it's an object and we're going to specify the method of this request. This will be a post request. Okay, so now fetch knows how to actually deal with this URL search params object directly. So um, to actually specify the body of this request, we can use the body property like that and we can simply just say params. So we're passing in the actual object directly. So um, basically, fetch will uh, see that it's actually a URL search params object and then deal with it accordingly. It's going to get the output query string um, and even set a header for us. Okay, so if I was to um, save this one and refresh the browser, um, this time we get nothing that's because I have to actually go inside the PHP and just output the post data, not the get data. So I can save this and try again. Okay, refresh the browser and this time around we get um, once again the same data. This time it's coming from the PHP post global variable. And if I was to go inside the network tab here of developer console um, and go down to the actual request down here, um, inside the request header section, we can see um, we have a content type of um, the URL encoded. Okay, so um, Fetch has automatically set this content type for us, um, uh, which is something you won't actually find in a traditional XML HTTP request. Um, with that traditional AJAX stuff, you need to actually specify the content type directly if you're sending um, query string data um, for the uh, post request body. Alright, and that is how you can use the URL search params um, object with the fetch API. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.